and marinara sauce topped with provolone cheese and placed on a fresh baked Italian roll. The General Store on 24 in Lewis. All right, 737. Uh, time now for question of the day. Relationship issues. You ever need anything discussed, you can always email us. Jessica at power1017.com. All right, so we got a phone call about uh, a guy. He's been dating a girl for over nine years. Mm-hmm. Nine years. Dating nine years. But no ring. No ring. Nine years and no brain. And I guess she's ready. Okay. But he says he's not. So he's not after nine years. We're going to play the phone call. He's kind of, you know, apparently they have a big date plan for tonight. Okay. But we're going to play the audio and then you guys call with your advice. Yeah, I've been with my girlfriend for for nine years, nine going on ten, and she wants a proposal, and I I know she's looking for it today. We have a romantic day planned, but I just I'm not I'm not ready to settle down. And to be 100 percent honest, I don't know if this is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. I mean, it's great, you know, it's great, but I, I just it, it freaks me out. The the the, the commitment freaks me out. And I, you know, I just, I, I love the girl, but I'm not, I'm not in love with her. She's, I just, she's not what I would consider my best friend at, the, at this time. And I just don't know how to break that to her. And I, I can't do it tonight. That, that would, that would, that would crush her. But I, you know, and it's going to come up and we're going to get down to the skin and bones of it. And it's going to be a whole issue. And I just, I don't know how to handle it. Don't know. Okay. So that's the audio. Let's go. 302-858-5117. Not in love. Number one, nine years and not like you you don't have a plan. Number one, no. And that's a shame for her because she's been like. Number two, nine years. in there and probably like thinking that this is it. This is the one. Well, number two, you're saying you don't know if she's the one yet. No. And that she's. You then know, obviously not she's friend. not. Obviously she's not right. the one. I mean, he says it. No. Nope. He doesn't know how to break up with her. Just break up with her. You need to tell her straight. He says they're going on this romantic dinner and it's going to crush her and all this stuff. Nine years. That's almost a decade. Mm. Have you ever been with someone for that long and they broke up with you? Or you, you maybe you're questioning, or maybe you've questioned, or, you know, they started questioning. How can they question after that long? Gosh. But that's a shame for him to continue to string her along. Uh, 365 uh, checking in. Time to move on, buddy. Yeah, you're right. He needs to tell her. 202, quit wasting her time, right? I know. He has to tell her. Nine years. And she is going to be crushed. Yeah. 302. Ugh. 858 5117. Why would he let it go on that long? Just because, like, she's familiar, they've been together so long, he's comfortable with her. Well, shout out my man Lauren. A decade is a long time to wait for a ring. Sounds like you're comfortable and nothing else. Yeah. Sounds like they're comfortable. Mm. Good morning, Power 1017. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Who's this? Hi. This is Nene from Cambridge. All hey, right, Nene. Nene uh, go ahead. You got a comment? Yes. I think he sounds like a butt munch this morning. And <laughs> I think he's ready to wear his hoochie daddy shorts on the beach. I think he got another girl on the side. Yeah. And this one, he's just holding on to her mm. until he can get established with the other one. This one is a sweetheart. Don't she supposed to do at home? And he's just ready for the street. Hmm. Yeah. A sweetheart doing what she's supposed to be doing at home, and he is yep. not for it. He said Ready that he party. don't know if she's the one. He does know yeah, she she's yeah, not the one. I know. That's Nine years. <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation like this? Um. Well, let me flip this around. You got to keep it clean. You're live on the air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but go me, ahead. Me and mine's 20 plus. Okay. We're okay. not married. We're not married. I think if it ain't broke, we ain't going to fix it. I see a lot of our friends that's been together. They went and got married. They divorced. Or he living over here. He living over here. I think we're fine. We do what we're supposed to do. I I, I don't wear dresses, so what am I going to wear down the 
Oh, if I get married, so. Oh, it's not That's about that. It's not about the dresses. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. But you're saying you've been together yeah, for 20 years, but. Yes. And we're he's, good. Right. And common we're law. Good. Common yeah, law. And he's, um, you know, not speaking like this man is. And you're yeah, clearly. Oh, no, because no, I would have left. I don't. It's just some things I don't deal with. This girl is probably. I don't know. So you got some people and women who cater to these men who just don't appreciate it. And I ain't one of them. I roll. I like to speed. So I'm speeding down the highway. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. All right. So let me ask. All right. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to interview you for a minute being with him for 20 okay. years and not married. All right. So you guys have been together for 20 years. Any kids? Two of them. Two of them. So you guys live together like a married couple. Like, like if you, People, your friends, they basically think you're married. Is that? Oh no, they know what it is. I mean, people that don't know. No, but I mean, like, I no, married. I mean, I know they know that you, you're not definitely married. But I mean, about how we move around, do we look the, the part? Do we look the part the way we? Yes. Live? Yeah. So, right. so, 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 if, so, if Jessica and I, if you came in here with him, and you know, we found out everything you guys do in life, we would think that you guys are married. Oh yeah, we we go to trip. I cook, I clean dishes. He gets his food when he get off of work. Oh, honey, yes, stuff. girl. Massages, uh, bath, run the, the bath. <laughs> you know, Doing the laundry. Make sure he got his black and mild and his beard when he gets Yes, off making out you know. all of it, girl. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. So, so why, <laughs> all right, let me ask you this for real, for real, like all jokes aside, why haven't uh, you guys gotten married? Just because everything's good as it is? I mean, is that? Yes, because everything's good as it is. I see, I'm not saying all marriages fail, but what I've seen, I've seen someone get married twice, spend all this money, and now she's on number three. You know, so I don't have time for that. I wanted to be one and done. And then it seems like as soon as you get married, here come all the, the crumbles. Just everything's falling apart. I don't have time for that. So I think we're good. I don't wear dresses. Um, half the people I don't you like. Keep you, you, you keep saying that. You keep talking about um, wearing dresses. Stop She it. said half yeah, the people don't, she don't like. Who cares? I don't to the if I don't like people, you know? There's, there's, there's a lot of people, so... Who's going to eat the reception food? Okay. All right. You know? I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. This is just one a maybe. Day one about, day, you guys 70, just. When we're about 60 or 70. Not right. Just, maybe it'll just. Yeah, we could then. One day yeah. be you and just your yeah. kids and him. That's I, it. I, I, about 60 or 70, I might throw that dress on. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. I like sneakers and Nikes and Jordans. I can't wear that with that wedding dress. Well, you can go so get married. Go you can go get married in Vegas. I'll think about it. Years, <laughs> you know? Well, look. Uh, but, no, we're, we're good. I just don't see the purpose of all the extra stuff. It seems like you got to pay to be married. When you get divorced, you got to pay for that. They all up in your business with the IRS and the government. It's just too much. Yeah. Well, look. Like um, to be married to the to the country. Uh-uh. We're, we're, wanna... We are. Uh, well, look, we're happy for you guys, and yeah. uh, you know, keep doing it. Keep doing it. You got a, you, you got a okay. nice family. Okay. You know, we like it. Yep, we're good. Appreciate you checking in. You have a great day. Okay. All right, but he's a butt munch. <laughs> a butt munch. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 202 texted back. I'm kind of hoping she's listening and recognizes his voice and moves on talking about the original. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, cause he's, um, just too comfortable letting this go for nine years and talking about she ain't the one. No, honey. He ain't the mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, 373 says 10 years with my girl waiting for our financial situation to get better, but it's never a right time to get married. 10 years goes fast. Just lost track of time. Right, and I know other couples that have been together that long and did not get married, but they're committed. They're, like, in a relationship. This guy is like, oh, no, you know, she's not my best friend. I'm not in love with her. He's just stringing her along. Uh, 366 checking in. He's a selfish POS. Yeah. Time is precious, and stringing her along, like, that is effed up. Yep. He's holding her back from finding someone who will love and cherish her, and that's just wrong. It's not even the fact that he doesn't want to marry her. He's straight, and he's not in love with her. So it's time to let her go, regardless of how comfortable the relationship is. It's not fair for her to miss out on having someone that, you know, loves her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 302-858-5117.
Here goes this audio again, and you guys can comment. Yeah, I've been with my girlfriend for for nine years, nine going on ten, and she wants a proposal, and I I know she's looking for it today. We have a romantic day planned, but I just I'm not I'm not ready to settle down. And to be 100 percent honest, I don't know if this is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. I mean, it's great, it, you know, it, it's great, but I, I just it, it freaks me out. The the the, the commitment freaks me out. And I, you know, I just, I, I love the girl, but I'm not, I'm not in love with her. Wow. She's, I just, she's not what I would consider my best friend at, the, at this time. And I just don't know how to break that to her. And I, I can't do it tonight. That would, that would, that would crush her. But I, you know, and it's going to come up and we're going to get down to the skin and bones of it. And it's going to be a whole issue. And I just, I don't know how to handle it. Don't know. 381 texting in. He needs to let her go. He does. 302-858-5117. There's a Chainsmokers. Good morning. 